My name is Debbie and this is my aha moment. I have been working with my therapy dogs for about eight years or nine years. And besides going to hospitals, because he's a registered pet partner's dog, besides going to the hospital, we also work with children with special needs and autism. I can do more with these kids than just having them walk the dog and touch the dog. So I decided that I was going to have the kids sit and listen. So I had the kids sit down and I had them listen to me with their eyes and their ears and pay attention to Rocky and watch all the things that he can do. Then I went back to the children and I said, tell me something that Rocky can do. And one of the kids said, sit. And another one said, leave it. And some of the kids said, Tuh. they were trying to say turn. And the teachers have told me that this is probably the best 20 minutes that they have for weeks. I just find it amazing. And I want to do more. And since I've just started doing this, I want to write about it or have other people know what's, what, what is possible with therapy dogs so that, so that more people can reach children with autism. Whenever someone retires, rather than being egocentric and just thinking of what they can do for themselves, is to reinvent yourself and see how you can help other people in the world because I think that there's so much we have to offer as retirees for other people by using our life experiences and finding new ways to help. I think it's really essential.